hello crafting welcome back to my channel so today we'll be making earrings using gilly fabric yes i am so excited we are making gilly fabric earrings so i am ibiwari creative director of ibis fine crafties if you're new here why not click on the subscribe button to join the craft team if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back i love you all please we have lots and lots of videos coming up so click that subscribe button to join the craft team for our items today we we'll need our gilly fabric we need our uhu glue we need our pattern this can be cut, um, cut out from a cardboard we need our scissors i'll be making use of e6000 then we need our earring hook which can be gotten from jewelry sellers so for the pattern is just the shape you want you can cut out any shape of your choice any shape you want so you can use um for this shape i used what they call fiber is a bit and uh, a material that is like um cardboard but is thick so that is what i use in cutting out this shape so you can look for that fiber or you can use a cardboard that is hard or this hard cover notes book that can serve also so let's get started i'm so excited for today you know that feel when you just make your own earrings to match your outfit and you're looking so unique in your own style that is what we are making today yes so you just place your pattern on your fabric cut out leaving extra you cut out the shape of your pattern but your fabric should be bigger than your pattern the size of your fabric should be bigger than your pattern so we are cutting out two because his earrings is a pair so we need two of those patterns so just do the same cut out two shapes of the fabric so here we have a fabric cut out for the fabric we are cutting out two bigger than the actual pattern size then two the size of the pattern as we wash along we'll see why we cut them out like that two is bigger then two is the size of the your actual pattern so we apply our glue generously over one side of the pattern just generously apply your glue all over one side of the pattern like i said we have lots and lots of videos coming up so if you've not subscribed just click that subscribe button join the craft team relax click on that notification bell so you'll be among the first to be notified when new video drops so the same thing we'll do for the second pattern You know with uhu glue you just allow it to air dry a bit it holds better that way just allow it air dry a bit before you stick it on to what you want to glue so you just after applying our glue we'll stick it to the wrong side of the gilly fabric and the beauty of this work is that is i'm using old gilly fabric so you don't even need to spend money to go and buy new fabric but you can actually buy new one if you really want to but for this i'm making use of old ones so you, you can see i'm upcycling yeah 
I'm upcycling. So if you have your old gilly fabric that you're not making use of, why throw it away when it can become gold for you? Mm -mm, yeah, it can become very useful. So, and you can tell somebody, yeah, I'm working a vintage earring. <laughs> yes, of course. You're working a vintage earring because it's old fabric. Don't mind me, I'm just too excited for this project today. But it's actually a good way not to waste materials. You can actually, all your old gilly fabric, cut out patterns from them and you use them in this time again so it's a win-win for you so after applying your glue just press down press down let it stick press down let it stick then we'll cut make a mark round the fabric just a mark round the fabric to help it lap well when you place it on the front of the pattern so you just use your scissors make a mark round your fabric your marks should be close to each other We are doing this so it, this will help it lap well when you press it down your pattern. It will help it lap well. That's why we are placing, making a mark around our gilly fabric. So, if you are just joining us and if not subscribed to the craft team, please click on that subscribe button. We'll just do a speed this part up. So I'm done making a mark for the two pattern. Then we'll now apply glue on our pattern again. Now this time is on the area that, that does not have your fabric. So you just say maybe the front, call it now the front of the pattern because the other part is being glued to the fabric. So now you apply glue on the front of the pattern that is not being glued to your fabric. So whatever we are doing, we are doing in pairs because it's earrings, it comes in pairs. So we are doing the same thing to both pair. So, UHU glue, you know, you allow it to dry a bit before you stick it on, on what you want to glue. It sticks better that way. So, if once you dry it a bit, you start placing your cut pattern, those places you make marks, you start placing them on your pattern that you apply, you just apply glued, glue to that you've allowed to dry. So you place your pattern, press it neatly so it laps well. Press it neatly on your pattern so it laps well. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at Ibis Fine Crafties. And we also have a community on Facebook. It is fine crafties connect you can join that community where we share ideas network with fellow millionaires fashion ideas anything millinery and fashion is welcome in that community it's just a community to network so you can join that community on facebook it is fine crafties connect So I just still apply a little glue that the glue areas that the glue did not touch well just because you need it to stick well and lap.
to any area as you're walking that you see that is not the glue did not reach well just feel free to apply glue and stick it well so it laps well you can leave us a comment in the comment section and all the materials used in this video will be in the description section so just check the description and you see all the materials used you ain't missing anything no way we are leaving everything down in the description box so you check it and see all the materials used You press, apply a little pressure to ensure that is well lapping is lapping well on your pattern. So basically, it's the same thing we'll be doing for the second one. I'll just speed up the process for us. Yay, we are almost ready. Our work is almost ready. So the other pattern I told you to cut the same size with your, the other fabric I told you to cut the same size with your pattern. Now you see why that was said. It's because we we'll use that fabric to cover the back of our earring so you trim your fabric to the exact covering so it will not be overlapping your pattern it should just cover the back of your pattern well enough not to be seen from the front so the size should be well the, the size should cover your back well enough but not to be seen in front that should be the size of your the pattern to cover the back so if it's a bit big you shake and you trim shake and you trim and depending the size of the earring because i didn't give you measurements because of the size you might not want to use the exact same size do the same exact size of the earring in this video so whatever size you're doing just use make sure your back pattern covers well enough but not to be seen from the front should cover the back well enough but not to be seen in front so after shaking and trimming apply glue now on your pattern that is covered with the fabric at the back that still has some pattern showing from the video that you're seeing just apply glue round the pattern and even the sides that has fabric on around it just apply your glue also allow your glue to dry a bit before you now cover with your fabric remember the side of the fabric that is showing is the good side so everything that should not show should be the back side of the fabric so the fabric we are covering with we are covering with the back but the good side of the fabric is what the eyes can see so you check the good and the bad side that's if your gilly fabric has good and bad side which most gilly fabric has good and bad side i think so so just check the good and the wrong side of the fabric then you cover you place the wrong side on your pattern and cover after covering press and hold apply pressure so it sticks together if there's any need for trimming please do trim if there's any need for trimming please do trim uh, 
I really like to hear your thoughts on this video. Please leave us a comment in the comment section. I love to hear your thoughts, your ideas, what you think about this video, or anything you want to share with us, or what you want to see on this channel. Please do leave us a comment. Yay, we are almost done. So for my uh, uh, sticking my earring hook to my earrings, to my fabric earrings, I decided to use a E6000. You can actually use UHU glue, but I decided to use E6000 because E6000 has a smaller mouth, so glue will not like rub all over my hook. So I can just easily direct where and where I want my glue to be. That's why I chose E6000 for this part of the project. But if you don't have E6000, you can actually go ahead with your you using your UHU glue. That will be fine also. But I chose to use E6000. So just apply it round. Apply your glue around your hook, then place it directly where you want it to be. I placed mine towards the the top part of my fabric where I want to be the upper part. So I place it directly close to the edge, but not exactly on the edge. Just close to the edge of the upper part of my earring. So we'll do the same thing for our second hook. And we are almost done. So if you find this video interesting, if you've learned anything from this video, please share, like, and subscribe. Share this video. It might be useful to somebody else out there. Subscribe to our channel if you've not done so. Why not join the craft team when you are sure of more videos coming? Yes, we have lots and lots of goodies coming up for you. So please subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram at Ibis Fine Crafties. Join our Facebook community at Ibis Fine Crafties Connect. Let's talk millinery, let's talk fashion, let's talk anything concerning women looking elegant. Yes. So once you stick, allow it to apply pressure, it will hold and leave it to dry properly. Your earrings are ready. Just like that, you have your own unique, well, should I say bespoke earring? <laughs> You have your own unique earrings just for you. Or you can make it for somebody or gift it to somebody. I know any person you make this for and gift it to will appreciate it. It's handmade with love. Yay, our earrings are ready. Looking so beautiful. So thank you for watching. Like 